Hello all. In this IoT series video, we'll see a home automation project using Blink Cloud. Using Blink IoT platform, you can control home devices from anywhere in the world. Initially, you have to provide your email ID for uh, Blink registration and then from Google uh, Play Store, you can install the Blink app on your Android mobile. Open the Blink app. You can touch on a new project icon to create new project or you can slide the screen uh, to see previous projects. Click on new project and then provide a name for uh, the project. Here I am giving home automation and then you have to select the devices. Uh, select the device you are going to use for the project. Here I am using Node MCU. So under the list of devices, uh, you can slide and uh, select Node MCU. And the connection type here I'm using is Wi-Fi. And the theme is uh, dark, the default theme is dark. And then click on create, you will get an authorized token on your uh, registered email ID. At any time you can uh, click on the project name. And then uh, you can refresh or uh, view the email. Now at the top, you click on the plus icon to see the widgets. Initially, you are provided with a free energy level of 2000. And you can select any widget like button or uh, LCD or LED or any other widget. Each widget has got an energy level and if you select a widget that uh, uh, energy level will be detected. Suppose you are selecting a button that energy level 200 will be de detected from your uh, store. If you want to purchase energy level you can do that. If you do not want the uh, widget you can just uh, drop it back and then the energy level will be retained. Now uh, click on uh, button, select two buttons for uh, from the widget. One button will use it for uh, fan control and the second, uh, second widget we will be using for light control. You can uh, drag, and, uh, drag and drop the button and then touch on the first button to set the uh, button settings. You can provide a name. Here we are using to control the button for fan. And then uh, touch on pin. And select the pin as digital D2. Uh, there are digital pins, analog pins as well as virtual pins. These virtual pins are not physical pins. And it is related to uh, software of uh, Blink. Up to 255 virtual pins are uh, provided. Uh, these are not... Uh, practical physical pins it is only related to software we will see it in uh, the next video select digital pin d2 for uh, first button fan and then select the switch mode uh, not push mode it is switch mode and then the logic level as we are using a, a relay board with the low enable that is the low at input of uh, input will energize the relay so we will change the logic from uh, 0 to 1 that is 1 to 0 initially it will be 1 and uh, when you switch it it will go to 0 and you can uh, provide the name for the button fan on and uh, fan off yes the logic is reverse we are providing the reverse name and then from the main screen again you touch on button 2 and select the and provide the name uh, as we are going to control light from this button you provide it as a name as light and select the digital pin D4 and select the reverse logic and mode as switch you can change the button name uh, to light on and light off Now on your uh, PC side you have to install the Arduino core for ESP8266. For this go to file from Arduino ID go to file preferences and then uh, select this uh, JSON link given in the description below. Paste it under preferences. 
from tools boards manager search for esp8266 and then install the arduino core for esp8266 and from under sketch include library manage libraries you search for blink and then install the blink library now it is uh, easier to install library using this method from arduino id now we have installed the blink library now this uh, node mc is plugged onto mb102 uh, breadboard and mb102 power supply is used so that it can be easily plugged onto the breadboard the top rail is set to 5 volt jumper and the bottom rail is set to 3.3 volt jumper we'll be using a relay board four channel relay board for controlling the load this is a low enable relay board and the, uh, and it has got a jumper you have to remove the jumper and uh, connect vcc there are two pins vcc and jd vcc vcc to be connected to 3.3 volt and uh, jd vcc to 5 volt uh, that is why we are using that mb102 uh, uh, board which has got both the supply now ground is connected to ground and uh, uh, the control pin in1 we are using uh, uh, relay 1 and relay 4 so in1 is connected to d2 and IN4 is connected to D4. Ground is connected to ground. Uh, the 3.3 volt supply to node MCU is provided with the jumper to connect with the 3.3 volt rail. Ground is connected to ground. Remember this node MCU is 3.3 volt device and all logic levels will be at 3.3 volt. Now we have to connect the load from the relay board. Uh, each contact has got uh, three pins. One center pin is the pole where we have to connect the uh, power supply to the load. And uh, actual load is connected to the NO pin. We are using a 5 volt fan. So we are connecting uh, 5 volt to pole and the actual load to NO. If you are going to use the AC load, you connect neutral to pole and the actual load to NO always take care not to touch the relay board when you connect the ac uh, load so according to this uh, we are connecting the load that is the first relay uh, pole pin is connected to 5 volt and the dc fan we are going to use has got two wires the one uh, black wire is directly ground uh, grounded and the red wire is connected to a no pin so when the relay operates the 5 volt passes through the relay contact to load and for ac uh, load we are going to use the three pin wire uh, so that the phase and neutral is not changing at the pole pin of uh, fourth relay you connect the neutral wire and the ac load has got two wires and the phase is directly connected to phase of the three pin wire and the other, one, other wire is connected to the NO pin. So when the relay operates, the neutral passes to, to the load to face so that the load will be on. Now connect the node MCU to your PC using USB cable and open the device manager to note down the port. Previously, you should have installed the CP2102 driver to get the port allotment. And now from the Arduino IDE tools, select the uh, board as uh, node MCU 1.0 version and under uh, tools you select the port that is a com port allotted to the node MCU now from uh, file examples you select blink yes we have already installed the blink library you will see all the blink uh, examples here under blink you select uh, boards Wi-Fi and then node MCU so already uh, uh, huge examples or uh, huge examples are available for uh, blink you just need to s do some slight modification in the code open the node MCU code here uh, two header files are used esp8266 wifi dot h and uh, blink simple esp8266 dot h and uh, under authorization uh, it is uh, provided to char variable you have to 
uh, copy and paste the authorization code you received in your email this was generated while creating the project and you will get the authorization code uh, in your registered email you just need to uh, copy this authorization code and uh, paste it each pro project has got its own uh, authorization code and then you have to provide the your uh, uh, Wi-Fi credentials SSID name and the password of your uh, Wi-Fi device and under wide setup we begin serial dot begin at 9600 baud and then we use the function blink dot begin with the authorization code ssid and pass and under wide loop uh, blink dot run function is called which will take care of the uh, rest of the uh, function so now you just uh, save the file and then click on upload you can also generate code using uh, uh, blink.cc uh, the examples.blink.cc site here you can select the uh, device as node mcu and then the wi-fi type and the authorization code you can paste it here and from examples there is a huge list of examples you can select the example and then at the right hand side you can uh, there is a copy button you copy the code and then paste it onto your Arduino IDE you do the necessary changes like a SSID and a pass and if you need you can uh, do some small modification in the code accordingly and then upload the code once the code is uploaded you can remove the USB cable from node MCU and then provide power source to MB102 board. We are using a power adapter of 12 volt 1 ampere to MB102 board and you can just press the switch to power on. The node MCU will join with the SSID uh, provided in the code. Here I am using a TP-Link router for uh, uh, net access. The node MCU is connected over Wi-Fi to this TP-Link router and my mobile is connected uh, mobile has got a different isp so node mcu and mobile are both are uh, on different isp so that we are uh, controlling the devices from cloud now you can provide the ac supply and then uh, open the blink app and click on the play button now initially this both the loads will be on that is the fan and light both will be on you can just uh, touch on the uh, buttons to control the devices but this is not preferred action as uh, initially you switch on the uh, uh, system the loads will be in on condition you can see on the relay board both the leds are on so now we have to do slight modification in the code open the node mcu blink code and then under void setup you add this uh, digital write uh, to make both uh, d2 as well as d4 as high as the uh, relay board we are using is a low enable board initially you make it high so that the uh, load is loads are off you include this code save this and then upload <coughs> After uploading, you just remove the USB cable and switch on the power on MB102. The node MCU will join with the uh, cloud and open the Blinks uh, app. Now the devices are initially off condition. Now from app, you can just uh, touch on the buttons to control the devices. You touch on fan on to switch on the fan and light on to switch on the light. So when the power is uh, provided to the system, initially the loads will be in off condition and from the blink app you can control the load, fan and light accordingly on and off from anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching.